Good morning everyone and welcome to day 3 of our European tour. Uh, we're just going to check out of this uh, lovely accommodation that I've just been uh, staying last night. And uh, we're going to head in, into uh, the Netherlands once again. But this time today I'm going to be travelling to Brussels in Belgium. Um, so yeah, um, that's what the day is going to happen. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the European tour so far. Uh, it certainly has been uh, wonderful and it's been quite an experience so far for me. Um, I'm definitely uh, getting used to it, that's for sure, being on my own. So yeah, that's what's happening at the moment. So yeah, just going to head into the airport now and uh, yeah, uh, I'll catch you later. Just arrived at uh, Geneva Airport now. Uh, we're just about to fly to Amsterdam uh, to go to Brussels for our trip, no, our day trip, in our next European tour. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're boarding now. Okay, we just arrived at Amsterdam International Airport. Uh, we're back at Amsterdam in the Netherlands and uh, we're just going to take the train now uh, to all the way to Brussels. So uh, we'll be back. Five minutes later. Okay, we're stopping by Rotterdam for a change of train, uh, so we'll be right back. A few moments later. Here we are, we're just about to board the train to Brussels now. And, uh, yeah, now that's the situation at the moment uh, in this uh, cold, uh, windy day in Rotterdam. One hour later. Okay, just a bit of a quick update. Uh, we are in Belgium, and uh, I'd like to say welcome to Belgium. Uh, we're just half an hour away from Brussels, so that's our train update for you. Much, much later. Okay, we're finally in Brussels after two hours on the train, or more actually. Uh, so yeah, uh, just go head to the hotel now. Okay, so I just checked in into this room accommodation here for the night. Uh, I don't know exactly why I booked in two beds, but there you are. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? We, I mean, I'm going to be sleeping in one of those, right? So, yeah, uh, comfy beds, if I can show you. Quite rough, not rough, it's quite hard, but it's okay. Then we have the TV here at the moment. And then let's go and check out the toilets here. Looks pretty good. I like the toilets. It's pretty standard. Pretty standard shower. Yeah. Mind you, uh, just to clarify things, this is a three star hotel. So this is the standards you'll be expecting from a three star hotel. And finally, the view from our wind from the window that I'm saying it's basically windows isn't it so yeah that's my room accommodation here 
I hope you like it. Good morning everyone and welcome to day four of my European trip here in Brussels, Belgium. Um, this morning uh, I just had some breakfast downstairs in my hotel um, accommodation and now we are heading, well now I'm heading to go and do my own Brussels walking tour uh, for me to show it to you. Uh, to see some of the most famous sites around this city. So that is what's going to be happening today. Uh, so we'll be right back. I'll be right back actually when we get to our first um, tourist attraction, which is going to be the Grand Palais. The Grand Palais. The Grand Palais. That is, anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's where we're heading now. Uh, so let's go. Okay, here we are at our first stop of our of my uh, walking tour around Brussels. Uh, we're at the Grand Palais, uh, which is basically like a grand plaza of Brussels. Uh, so that's that, uh, with uh, a lot of architectural and Gothic um, styled um, buildings, which is wonderful. I will flip it around for you now. Okay, as you can see, we're at the the center of the Grand Palais. Uh, it's chucking down raining in here in Brussels in the morning, so not nice, but it's beautiful, beautiful Gothic uh, styled Flemish. I think also Flemish architectural that goes with it as well. So we abs absolutely loving it. I know, it's a shame it's raining here in Brussels in the morning, but uh, nonetheless, it is a beautiful part of Brussels that you must visit. Definitely. This is, I think I recommend starting at the Grand Palais if your hotel is nearby here. Or at least a 5 to 10 minute walk is recommended if you are staying in those hotels. So, yeah, that's in itself the in itself I can uh, first, first if I can sort of flip it around and do that for you yeah as you can see if I zoom it in for you it's got this uh, wonderfully detailed um, pillars and towers that sort of symbolizes the the history and the culture that goes within the, these buildings and the surrounding areas of it don't know too much history about uh, as such of the Grand Palais. But what I know is is that it is it is a famous part of Brussels that uh, it basically symbolizes the light and the color of these buildings around. It's definitely one to visit for sure. Okay, the next tour stop is uh, a church uh, called St. Michael's and St. Gaudila. Uh, so, go ahead for a few minutes of walking and then, uh, yeah, we'll be right back when we are able to get there. Not able to get there anyways. Okay, I'm standing by the, well, uh, St. Michael's Church and St. Gaudila. Uh, this is our second tour, uh, this is my second tour around Brussels and uh, yeah, well you can sort of see it for yourself. So there we are, that's the church itself, it's very, also very gothic like type of church, very, very beautiful by the way. It's kind of similar to the Notre Dame in Paris, if not similar, if you think of it. So yeah. That's really our second part of our tour. Did you see our surroundings around here? It's not looking too bad. Uh, the rain's just stopped, so it's just drizzly rain now. So yeah, that's what's happening at the moment.
Okay, uh, we've just done our second uh, tour of the St. Michael's and St. Gaudia's Church now and we're going to make our way to the next stop which is the Royal Palace of Brussels. Uh, so it's going to be a bit of a walk uh, so we'll be uh, there or we'll be right back actually when we get there. Okay, we're just about to uh, approach the Royal Palace of Brussels. Uh, it's our third tour stop. Um, yeah, the rain is not raining anymore. It's settled a bit, but it's quite windy here in Brussels. Uh, we're just about to um, take pictures and uh, film it for you. Oh, here we are at the Royal, Royal Palace of Brussels. This is where sort of where the well, if, if the, if the noise uh, let's get it closer for you yeah you can roughly see the royal palace a little bit um we'll get you a little bit closer Seconds later. Okay, so here we are at the actual Royal Palace of Brussels. Let's do that for you. You can see what I am seeing. There we are, it's the Belgian flag. It's where the royal family lives, apparently. Well, that's what the information I have in. There we are. It's quite a fascinating building. It's kind of similar to Buckingham Palace in London. So, I've got to get that. That's it. There we are. Okay, we just uh, finished our third tour, third stop by the Royal Palace of Brussels as I'm pointing it now for you. That was lovely. And now we're going to head into our fourth stop, uh, basically the uh, another church. Uh, its namesake is Notre Dame. So yeah, we'll be right Okay, we just finished our fourth tour, which is the Notre Dame Church, which I find it wonderful and very enlightening. I did my prayers there, which is fantastic, being a Catholic myself. And now we're going to the fifth and final uh, tour of Brussels, which is the Mont de Art. It's a few minutes walk, uh, so we'll head there now and we'll be right back. A few moments later. Okay, we're just approaching the Mont de Art. Uh, this is our fifth and final stop. As you can see, a bit of greenery, museums, and uh, and wonderful architecture. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's where we are at the moment. You can see the open top area of Brussels now. Wow, isn't it wonderful? Uh, yeah. Uh, what do you think of my tour of Brussels so far? I know it's very wet and sometimes it's a bit dry but mostly wet here so far this morning. Um, let me know in the comment section below uh, what you think of my tour around Brussels. Okay, fifth and final stop tour of Brussels done and I want the art for you. Now we're just going to head into Brussels Central Station now uh, for us to catch the train to Amsterdam or back to the hotel in Amsterdam. Uh, so we'll be right back when we get dried inside. A few moments later.
Five minutes later. Okay, we just arrived at Brussels Zoo du Midi train station. Uh, we're just waiting uh, for our timetable or platform for us to get to Chiffon Airport in Amsterdam. Uh, we're just standing by a shop now to buy something and uh, yeah, situation at the moment. Much, much, much later. Hey, welcome back to Shippon Airport. Just uh, disembarked from our train, and uh, now we're just at a pizza restaurant uh, to try and get some dinner. Uh, so yeah, it's been. A, I think the uh, what I think of the train journey itself. It's been a pleasant one. It took us uh, two hours back to uh, Amsterdam, uh, Shippon Airport. Thought that was lovely. So yeah. That's, uh, yeah, that's how the day go went in that particular bar. Ten seconds later. Okay, we're back at our hotel, Park Plaza Hotel here at Amsterdam. Uh, yeah, we're just going to take some rests now. Uh, a long rest after a very long journey uh, from Belgium to the Netherlands by train. Um, so I hope you enjoy day four of our uh, of my European trip. Uh, yep. I'll see you on day five.